Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video on the channel. We are at Innerleaf and today we're doing something a little bit different. I had an idea that um, obviously I'm comfortable on my new downhill bike, Santa Cruz V10, and my friend Tommy's over here and Ant, and they have both have zeroed bikes. <coughs> and they are belt driven bikes with pinion gear bo gearbox shifting? Pinion gearbox. Yeah. Pinion gearbox, so super unique. It's got a grip shift on it. We'll show some of the close up stuff now it, of it right now. Better angle this way. Oh, yeah. My plan is to pick a track that I know, do only one time run on my downhill bike, and then do one run to make sure that the bike is kind of, I understand the characteristics of it and how it rides, and then one full run um, on the zeroed and see, see how it goes. It's a very unique bike, very different. It's a bit of a craze at the moment, and there's a lot of interesting things going on. Uh, with that, and it's an enduro bike, full 29 versus my downhill bike, which is a mullet, and um, just got way more travel, and obviously no belt. It's a chain, so yeah, uh, excited to try this one out. Um, take your guesses right now, which bike is going to be the fastest? Get in the comments, and drop a like on the video before we get stuck into the action. So let's get after it. Right, we'll cruise down. We'll do. Uh, we'll do the track. We'll tie him on. Oh. Alright, so we're taking a cruise down the track that we're going to be doing timing on. Conditions are prime today. Running fast as well. Dry. Right, full run on the V10 downhill bike, timed. Obviously this is my own bike, so I feel good on it. Oh, it's greasy. Oh. We're not pushing it too fast today. Oh. That's going to be hard on the trail bike. Oh. Jeez, oh. Oh. 
とは Now we're done. Engagement on that is. Look at that, it's crazy. Doesn't even catch till. Right, so we're on the zoo road. I've locked in a run on the downhill bike and. Yeah, it already feels weird, and I don't understand how the gear sh gears work. <laughs> Grip shift, and a belt-driven bicycle. The future is belt-driven, mate. The future is belt-driven. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Don't know what it's made of, but... Very weird. Very strange. Very strange. Very nice. You can't, when you pedal the bike, and you want to change gear, you can't pedal. You've got to ease off the pedals. To allow the belt to shift. Yeah, it's weird. Very strange. I can change, but it's, it's weird. Super strange. So this is going to be an interesting video, to be fair. On a bike I've never rode how I go. Oh, he looks good on that Santa Cruz, doesn't he? Yeah, mate. He's like, I'm going a bit excited. Oh! The, de the delay on this is nuts. Right, it's my first timed run. I've only done one run on this bike and I've never rode one of these in my life. Belt driven, zero. Oh. No derailleur, so no worries. So quiet. Tight. That was good. Did you, I'm not hit your shifter. No. 
Does it hurt hitting yours? This thing's good, man. Nice, isn't it? So quiet and planted. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's no derailleur and from much, and the chain, but smooth suspension too. So we got done with the uplift day. Um, really, really interesting and actually cool to experience the zero bike. I've never rode one before. It's obviously very unique, very different to anything I've ever really rode before. Um, as you saw, my times were pretty much bang on. Similar pace, <clears throat> similar speed. Um, yeah, I basically wanted to just kind of, I thought it would be a cool, um, a cool video to do and just to kind of see how quickly I can adapt to a bike I've never rode before and also that has different technology and it's just a completely different bike to what I've been riding and what I've ever been used to. So I wasn't surprised because when I first hopped on the zero for my first practice run down, uh, it felt good. It felt planted. I didn't make any changes to the suspension, uh, no changes to the tire pressure. It's just as I rode it as my friend like set it up and has his bike. Um, and then on the other hand, my V10, I'm comfortable on it. I know what it's going to do. I know how it's going to act, uh, react, um, and I know how it feels. So that was easy, like for me to nail a run like that, straightforward and easy. Jumping on the zero, I was thoroughly impressed. Honestly, uh, was, obviously, there's a lot of hype about it as well, and the bell and like the gearbox, and they now have one that's like a actual gear shifter. So there's no um, what what's it called? There's no uh grip shift. That's the one thing I did not like about the bike was the grip shift. It means you got a small grip, and your my hand was kind of sitting on the edge of the grip shift, so I could feel when I was riding a little bit of play. And I also just I, I didn't like the amount of like pedaling out of a corner or like something the engagement was really late and delayed uh, compared to what i'm used to obviously on my own bike um but i think that's just like a i'm not sure is that a gearbox problem is that well, not a problem is that a gearbox thing there's just more of a delay in the engagement i'm not too sure but overall my, my overall experience was, was was really really good i will say as well massive positive to a gearbox bike although they might kind of seem expensive is you don't have to buy a derailleur you don't have to buy a chain the belt lasts ages i can't remember how many hours or miles it is but it's a lot so you're saving derailleurs chains jockey wheels crack like uh chain rings you know bend and all that sort of stuff so everything's like out of the way tightened it's quiet the bike is silent so if you ever get the chance to jump on one i really recommend it i'd like to try the new downhill bike um so who knows we'll see what happens for the future but cool video and just goes to show that you know good bike is going to go well anyway regardless yes it helps like that i'm somewhat a good a decent rider um and i can jump on most stuff and ride well but pretty impressive to be able to jump on the zero with one practice run and then just do a full run and be pretty much similar time to what my v10 is and that's a full 29 yeah interesting video um interesting outcome uh, i honestly didn't expect to jump on the zero and be like oh my god this is really good because it was really good but yeah, stoked, and uh, yeah, it was fun. So drop a like in the video, comment below, let me know your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any future videos. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.